Now, in, in agreeing to uh, participate in this debate and stand on this side of the argument, I'm fully aware that many people who choose incorrectly, in my view, to, to see this issue in terms of left and right, devalued and exploded terms, as I think they are, will believe that I am betraying myself and such causes and values that I have espoused over the years. I've been given huge grief already simply because I'm standing here next to Professor Peterson, which is the very reason that I am standing here in the first place. I'm standing next to someone with whom I have, you know, differences, shall we say, in terms of <laughs> politics and all kinds of other things, um, precisely because I think all this has got to stop. This rage, resentment, hostility, intolerance, above all this um, with us or against us, certainty. A grand canyon has opened up in our world. The fissure, the crack, grows wider every day. Neither on each side can hear a word that the other shrieks, and nor do they want to. While these armies and propagandists in the culture wars clash, down below in the enormous space between the two sides, the people of the world try to get on with their lives alternately baffled, bored, and betrayed by the horrible noises and explosions that echo all around. I think it's time for this toxic, binary, zero-sum madness to stop before we destroy ourselves. Um, I'm, I'd better nail my colours to the mast uh, before I get any further in this. It's only polite to give you a sense of where I come from. I, all my adult life, I have been uh, what you might call a lefty, a soft lefty, a liberal of the most hand-wringing, milksop, milk-toast variety. <laughs> not a burning man-the-barricade socialist, not even really a progressive worth the name. I've been on marches, but I've never quite dared wave placards or banners. Um, <laughs> Am I a loathed member of that band, the, an SJW, a, a, a social justice warrior? I don't think highly of social injustice, I have to say, but I character myself mostly as a social justice warrior. My <laughs> intellectual heroes growing up were Bertrand Russell and G.E. Moore, liberal thinkers, people like that, writers like E.M. Forster. I believed, and I think I still do believe, in the sanctity of human relations, of the primacy of the heart and friendship and love and common interest. These are more personal, interior beliefs than they are political exterior convictions, more a humanistic version uh, of a religious impulse, I suppose. I trust in humanity. I believe in humanity. I think I do, despite all that has happened in the 40 years of my adulthood. I am soft, and I can easily be swept away by harder hearts and harder intellects. I'm sometimes surprised to be described as an activist, but over time, I have energetically involved myself with what you might call causes. I grew up knowing that I was gay. Well, in fact, from the very first, I knew I was gay. I remember when I was born, looking up and saying, that's the last time I'm going out one of those. Um, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm, I'm Jewish. I'm Jewish, so I have a natural obviously, horror of racism. Uh, um, I naturally, I want racism, misogyny, homophobia, transphobia, xenophobia, bullying, bigotry, intolerance of all human kinds to end. And that's surely a given amongst all of us. The question is how such a golden aim is to be achieved. My ultimate objection to political correctness is not that it combines so much of what I have spent a lifetime loathing and opposing, preachiness, with great respect, um, <laughs> piety, uh, Self-righteousness, heresy hunting, denunciation, shaming, assertion without evidence, accusation, inquisition, censoring. Uh, that's not why I'm incurring the wrath of my fellow liberals by standing on this side of the house. Um, my real objection is that I don't think political correctness works. I want to achieve, I want to get to the golden hill, but I don't think that's the way to get there. Um, I believe one of the greatest human failings is to prefer to be right than to be effective. Um, and, and political correctness is always obsessed with how right it is without thinking of how effective it, it might be. I, I wouldn't class myself as a classical libertarian, uh, but I do relish transgression, and I deeply and instinctively distrust conformity 
and orthodoxy. Uh, progress is not achieved by preachers and guardians of morality, but to paraphrase Yevgeny Zemyatin, by madmen, hermits, heretics, dreamers, rebels, and skeptics. I, uh, I may be wrong. I, I hope to learn this evening. I really do think I may be wrong, but uh, I am prepared to entertain the possibility that political correctness will bring us more tolerance uh, and, and a better world. Um, but I'm not sure, and I would like this quotation from my hero Bertrand Russell to hover over the evening. One of the painful things about our time is that those who feel certainty are stupid, and those with any imagination and understanding are filled with doubt and indecision. Let doubt prevail.